Okay, let's take this uh, ex-military 1987 or 88 on an e-registration. Um, Land Rover 90 ex-military soft top but fitted with 200 TDI power and power steering for a spin. Um, starting sequence is slightly different. You've got to turn the big key there and then press the starter button. The oil pressure light isn't coming up but um, I think it's, uh, don't think it's an issue. There's certainly the engine feels really um, healthy. It's probably just either a blown bulb or uh, a faulty sender unit on it. but. Um, Anyway, starts on the button. Doesn't seem to need any heat actually. I need to speak to the last owner and find out how the heating system, the plug heating system works. That's probably one of these switches over here that does it, but um, it doesn't seem to need any, whether it's hot or cold anyway. So uh, fires into life and lights. It's also got a digital temperature gauge, which is quite a nice feature, and a Ken Lo fan. Uh, all the instrumentation's working. It's showing 108,000 miles. Um, speedo works. We've also got a voltmeter as well and fuel gauge. And off we go. Nice with the power steering, makes the steering nice and uh, nice and light and manageable. Now being a military one with no soundproofing, it's uh, a little louder than a sort of fancy civilian one, but um, I love these ex-military ones. Off we go. Nice engine on it, no horrid white smoke out the back or blue smoke once it's warmed up or anything, it's just very uh, very straightforward. Gearbox is nice, there's no synchro problems on second or third gear or anything, the gearbox actually feels quite tight. Possibly it's had another gearbox in it because that is uh, tighter than I'd expect for the mileage. No unpleasant noises from the drivetrain at all. Absolutely minimal backlash in the transmission. I let my foot off sharply. <coughs> and it steers straight as well. I'm not having to uh, fight it down the road. It's going where it's placed. Into fifth. Just trundles along quite happily. Slow it down a bit because I don't want to get it too wet to clean it. Heat of the motor seems to work. 